definitely got a lot of get up and go. Hey folks, Derek here from Adventure Power Products and it's finally here, the 2020 Kawasaki Terex KRX 1000 Sport 4x4. It arrived this morning, we've had a ton of people here already, we've done a few test drives and we thought, well, let's, uh, let's get out for ourselves and go for a little rip. First impression so far is everything on this unit is definitely overbuilt, it's built to be strong for the long haul, you're not going to be uh, bringing it in for uh, repairs or warps or bends, from A-arms to suspension uh, to frame, everything is unbelievable. Well, let's go for a little ride and uh, and see what uh, see what we can do. I'm going to put my uh, windy glasses on. So we've got it in fast mode right now, in high range. We've got an LCD display that's right in front of the steering wheel, or right through the steering wheel, I should say. Uh, Visibility is nice and easy to get access to all your features. Um, definitely got a lot of get up and go. It is nice and smooth. Um, we're just going to find a little uh, old uh, road here that we can utilize, which this should work good here. Probably one of the first Canadian videos. Uh, we're probably one of the first people in Western Canada to have this unit. Um, so we've got our speedo in kilometers per hour. Um, let's just see what we can get for a top speed. It's cold here in Manitoba. Let's have some fun. Are we ready? No. Ready? new KRX 1000. Uh, we've got Fox Podium shocks all the way around. You've got to see the size of these things to even understand. Feels like you'd jump off the top of a building and you wouldn't bottom these shocks out. Uh, air intakes both uh, for the clutch and for the engine itself. Nice and high above the rear box. Probably almost as high as my shoulder. We've got a high range and a low range. Obviously in the transmission different exclusive to this new Kawasaki is they've now got a low speed and fast speed in both the low range and the fast uh, and the fast range. So if you do want to do some technical driving, some rock crawling, you've now got a little bit more expandability with the throttle. Um, you've also got some cool features in the gauges including a CVT temp belt. Uh, again, something new for the industry. Uh, be able to tell you that you know on those days where you've got hot temperatures, not like today uh, in Manitoba by the way, but for all those other days, uh, if you're cooking up the belt, uh, if it's getting warm, you're going to be able to see the temperatures all the way through. Uh, you've got fuel gauge, uh, you've got engine temperature gauge, you can tell when you're in eco mode, you've got trip meter, and again, we're doing some kind of pretty serious side hilling here right now and it's really not giving us any kind of grief at all and again we're not uh, we're not exactly getting too crazy with this thing right now but uh, you know uh, as far as just cruising along cruising through some some terrain here nice big 31 inch carnivore maxis tires um, man it feels so comfortable in the cab Never mind the fact that you've got the full tilt steering with the full gauge cluster. And the first thing we noticed, uh, Mike and I both being pretty tall uh, individuals, bigger riders if you will, um, is the fact that I've got lots of leg room, I'm comfortable. There's a ton of seat adjustments front to back and uh, you know what, even with the seats all the way back, there's even some room behind us on this thing. Uh, there's also a couple cup holders here, so we're talking five cup holders if you include the fire extinguisher holder and the passenger door. Either the engineers were really thirsty when they were coming up with the design, or we can assume that we're probably going to see a four-seater of this version uh, or this unit coming out soon. Uh, a couple of other things that are coming out with the Kawasaki is a ton of factory accessories, uh, audio, door speakers, rear subwoofer, roof, windshield, uh, inline heat, windshield wiper, the soft door cabs, the rear window, uh, rear view mirrors, LED lights, the list goes on and on and on. You can accessorize the living heck out of this new KRX. <coughs> Excuse me, not that you have to because I mean it really comes ready to rock and roll. You want to hit a derby, you want to hit some wide open ditch trail, you want to travel from town to town, go grab uh, Go grab some lunch and uh, and a hot coffee on a day like today. You can do it. It's plenty comfortable, plenty of room. 
Um, we've got some extra storage areas up here in the front, places to put your cell phone, your wallet, your safe, uh, your items to be kept safely. Uh, LED lights on this thing. We've got an LED strip as soon as it's running. Beautiful design feature. And then of course your low beam and high beam uh, LED lights as well. Uh, you've got your passenger, what we call O oh, shite handle. Uh, open up the glove box. It's fully adjustable in and out depending upon the uh, the rider that's uh, coming along with you as a passenger. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, drive around footage, give you an idea of what it looks like from some different angles. Let's go for a ride and we'll talk to you soon. glasses off my head.